So yesterday Apple released iOS 15.4 developer beta 1 and I gave you guys a quick first look at some of the biggest features coming to the iPhone with the next major update for iOS 15, 15.4. But now I've had the software installed approximately 24 hours and I've dug around the system to find out everything that's new. And of course, in this video, we're going to take a look at more new features and changes and everything that's new with iOS 15.4 alongside iPadOS 15.4. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, as always, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now yesterday i shared with you guys a quick demo of ios 15.4 as i mentioned of some of the biggest features such as using face id while wearing a mask you can now set up your face id to unlock to make payments to download applications to autofill passwords even while you're wearing a mask now this feature is optional obviously but it's one of the biggest features coming to ios 15.4 if you'd like to watch a full demo of that links will be down below for yesterday's video apple has also added the ability to add glasses so if you had a pair of sunglasses or any glasses that weren't necessarily compatible with face id and you were having issues unlocking your iphone you can now scan your face while wearing those glasses and face id will now learn different portions of your face in order to authenticate and do the same thing unlock make purchases download apps and things like that so what's additionally new with ios 15.4 as i mentioned it's now been installed on this iphone 13 pro max for about 24 hours so let's go ahead and take a look at some additional new features Features. The first thing I want to talk about is the wallet application. The new wallet application now features a new widget under the widget panel that shows the latest transactions for your Apple card. You also have additional share play options and features. Apple has added share plays across all the share sheet options across iOS. You get a new setup screen here, some information on how it works. For example, if an application supports share play, you can go into the app right here. For example, the TV application click on share here and now you have the share options to share play this content with someone of course share play also works with music so for example if we have a song that we want to share during share play right here we also have the options directly built in to the music application as well we can share play any music any movie any tv show directly with the new menu under the share sheet options now there's also a ton of new emojis approximately 37 new emojis are now available including the melting face emoji which is one of my favorites but here's a list of all the new emojis available with the latest ios 15.4 developer beta 1 and now on some minor changes there's also a new icon for the actual airpods toggle or the airpods extension under accessibility so you can see right there we now have airpods pro like looking design airpods on that particular glyph right there under accessibilities. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is iPadOS 15.4. You guys have been asking about the software, so let's jump over onto the iPad now. Now, with iPadOS 15.4, Apple has finally added universal control. Now, this feature is still in beta, but is working fairly well, and I'll be covering this feature entirely on a separate video, but for those of you that do not know, alongside macOS 12.3 beta 1 and iPadOS 15.4 beta 1, yesterday you can now control your ipad that's next to your mac with your mac's trackpad and keyboard and you can also drag projects across both platforms seamlessly it's an awesome feature and i'm currently testing it and i'm currently waiting for this feature to be out of beta to share it with you guys here on the channel it is an amazing feature and it's finally here in beta universal control for ipad os and mac os 12.3 as well now there's also additional extensions for the control center options here if you use a keyboard on your iPad, you now have the keyboard uh, brightness toggle right there. It is is a new toggle that you can now access right there through Control Center as well. So the Control Center extension, it isn't highlighted for me, but there it is. There's a new button right there for the brightness on the keyboard. Now, something really cool that I've noticed, Apple has also added additional shortcuts to the corners of the iPad. Now, on the bottom left, you have your quick notes where you can drag into the screen and create a quick note just like so, and then just you know drag it back out of the screen just like that and on the left now if you go through the left here and go all the way to the center take a look at the screen it starts taking a screenshot 
just like so. And now you can control and edit your screenshots. So hopefully Apple will add additional options to corners on iPad. Again, we have quick notes on the left and we have now screenshots on the right. And if we go into settings here, we can actually change these options directly within the notes extension right here. So let's head on over into the notes extension right here in the settings application. If we scroll all the way to the bottom here, we now have the corner gestures right there they are. And on the left corner, you can actually change these by the way, you can choose quick notes to the left or right and screenshots to the left or right. You can disable or enable this option as you wish. Now, one thing I did forget to mention in regards to iOS is that within the shortcuts application, I know a lot of you guys will be happy to learn about this. If you have an automation, you now have the ability to turn off notifications for automations. You'll no longer get the banner up at the top here when you run an automation. It's going to be super cool for a lot of users that we're looking for for Apple to do in this. 15.4, honestly, a great software. I'm going to continue digging around the software, believe it or not. I'm sure there's still a few things here and there that will pop up within the next couple of days or so. Of course, stay tuned here to the channel for more iOS 15.4, iPadOS, macOS, and all the iOS coverage that you will need will be here. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.